Vanity of vanities, says the preacher. Vanity of vanities. Always vanity. What does a man gain by all the toil by which he toils under the sun? A generation comes and a generation goes, but the earth remains forever. The sun rises and the sun goes down and hastens to the place where it rises. The wind blows to the south and goes around to the north. Around and around goes the wind and on its circuits, the wind returns. All streams flow to the sea, but the sea is not full. To the place where all the streams flow, there they flow again. What has been is what will be, and what has been done is what will be done, and there is nothing new under the sun. People often think that Christians are hiding from the truth, that our faith is just a crutch to airbrush out the troubles of life. But of course, that's not real Christianity at all. And the Bible is brutally honest about life. Take Ecclesiastes, for example. It tells us, ask the question, what does man gain from all the toil at which he toils under the sun? What's crooked can't be made straight. What's lacking can't be counted. It's a stark challenge to any sort of naive optimism or any trite faith. But instead, it offers us real hope in the midst. It's honest. Life is brief. We've got to live with mortality. Life's baffling. There's so much mystery. Life is bitter and there is so much misery. But there is also great beauty. And we can find meaning and contentment and joy. So listen in. And find what the teacher tells us about the way of venturesome joy, even in the midst of life's vexed journey. 